Uh, this morning, I almost vlogged earlier, take like taking Jade out and getting her food ready and stuff, but I didn't. I didn't feel like running back upstairs, y'all, but now I feel like I should have because a very, a very uh, unfortunate event happened. So it's not that I would have showed y'all the event. It's just that sometimes I got to remind Jada because Jada, Jada is my little chihuahua. She's like two and a half, but sis is very i don't know i think it's a chihuahua thing where they just think they like 10 times bigger than what they are and so they oftentimes run up on animals that they probably sh that they should not run up on and so i take her out like early in the morning usually nobody's out there never has an animal been out there like an actual cat or dog um that early in the morning and so we just go out y'all so this morning let me stop the washer real quick because I don't know if that's I don't know if that's interfering with you hearing me. But anyways, I let her run outside. I'm going outside now. Jada likes to run around a little bit, act a little extra. Then she'll finally go use the restroom. I noticed a dog. And I, I feel like she heard the concern in my voice because as soon as I said, Jada, she like, she didn't look at me. She like scanned the area like who who you scared of? Who you scared of? Do you know this crazy thing? This crazy girl, huh? Ran up on a cat that was fat. A real big old cat, okay? That cat looked like it would give me back problems if I picked it up more than once, okay? And Goofy here ran up on the cat. Now, mind you, I got on slides, sis. And it's early in the morning. I am not fit to run, but I start power walking over to her. I try not to escalate these issues because sometimes when an animal comes up, like, they'll just, like, eye each other, like, you know, I miss you up. And, you know, they'll give each other that eye. But then they go separate ways. So I didn't want to just run off in a panic and then startle the cat. So I'm walking. I'm like, Jada, Jada, come on. Jada, come on. Jada, come here. Jada, I'm talking to Jada the whole time. I'm like, trying to get Jada to come to me, y'all, because I ain't trying to get scratched up me, okay? Um, I've seen what cats do to their owners, so I already know I don't even own a cat, so I'm... <laughs> no. I walk over there, and as I'm getting closer, Jada, I guess Jada got big and bad. She was like, yeah, my mama's here now. So she, like, the cat did, like, a, like get back. Like, get back right now. Jada hears me coming in the background, so I think Jada just got big head and was like, yeah, my mama here now. You about to get messed up. <sighs> Y'all, that, that, that cat gave Jada a very humbling skippity pat right upside the head. And to my surprise, Jada just sat there. I thought Jada was going to attack, baby. Jada was like, hit me. <laughs> so I picked up my little dog and we just walked away, y'all. Jada been chill ever since. Jada, I think that was very humbling for her. Um, I think that helped her make some future life decisions. She didn't scratch her or, or like do anything like that. That's another reason I didn't run to the cat because the cat is very friendly, like, I've seen a lot of cats that act crazy like on the internet, but I will say for the most part, the few cats that I've seen around here that actually do come up on you, they're really sweet. They try to rub up against you and all that. So I didn't think she was in danger, but this is uh, definitely, she's in the, in the laundry right now, y'all. She, you all know, she likes to be like close to me, but she's chilling right now. She's chilling. She just, you know, that ego, I think that ego is hurt a little bit. Is your baby okay? Oh, you got to stop being so aggressive. You like five, six pounds, ma'am. You're such a pretty girl. You got to stop trying to fight all the time. I got to wash your face off. Shit, we got to wash your face off, y'all. No, it's okay, baby. You're a pretty princess. Pretty princesses don't fight, okay? All right, Bunkin. And when I when I call you, ma'am, bring your tail, okay? You gonna stop embarrassing me out in public when I call you? Bring your behind. Y'all, she don't wanna she don't wanna play or nothing. She like just oh you you a little playful now. So my brother finally got his TV, seventy five inch. Oh, I know that started phone is so annoying. Noise. <laughs> And look how it didn't arrive. Look at the child. I will never order a TV to have it delivered. He went through all this mess to get it delivered to him. And now when it finally do get here, it's cracked. So he had to call. <sighs> he had to call again and let them know the TV. Yes, it did arrive, but it got a crack. So they'll be here Wednesday with a new TV. 
and taking this one off. I feel so bad for him. And he can't even sit it on his thing, on his little TV stand because it's too big. So he got to get a whole new TV stand, which means what? We got a new TV stand. We got a new TV stand. Cause Uncle Marcus is big bomb. <laughs> I gotta, I have been waiting to show you guys this. So, and if you hear Miss Jade in the background, I'm doing dishes. So, sis, sis is I understand, sit down because she be wandering everywhere, y'all. I, I feel like I have to tell y'all this every video because I feel like there's going to be a potential of someone who missed. <sighs> it's going to be a potential of someone who missed it and think that Jada's like just being mistreated badly. No, Miss Jada is very spoiled, but enough of that. She's good, okay? I promise you she's good. So let me show y'all what I've been trying to show you. Went to the food bank last month and we got these right here. So this was in like the kids snack bags. It was actually, I wanna say four. Like each child got one, cause I have four kids. We had already had something similar to this, but it was chocolate milk. Is running through that, so I was like, let's go ahead and use these. Check that date. Check that date. And to be quite honest, I never really check the dates on these simply because I'm like, I'm assuming they're good. But because this came from the food bank that was notorious for giving out spoiled items, when I went a couple years ago, I checked, and I'm so glad I did. Because imagine, imagine drinking out of this. Now that's not even the worst part. Let me tell you. So. I tried to reason and I said, I know they would not give away spoiled milk. You know, these are for kids, blah, 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 blah. I thought maybe they just stay good after the date. Cause sometimes that does happen. You know, food banks don't necessarily always go by the use by date because they, you know, use that prepper logic. <sighs> okay, got it open. And preppers usually know like how long stuff can actually last. Y'all, she is. Okay. Oh, that's a cute little straw. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a little sword. Um, and you'll see all of them are dated for January 18th. I don't think these would be good if they were dated for 2022 of January, but these are dated for 2021. Again, I'm like, you know what? I just don't believe that they would give these to children. Okay. You, as you, you can see, like some of the stuff coming out already looks gross, but look. Is that not nasty? Like, why would you give this to kids? Imagine somebody who doesn't check these, like a mom that's just dropping this stuff off and going to work. Cause I've done this a couple times where I just have just enough time to run by the food bank. Maybe before I go to work or something, just so my kids have food. And they drop this off. Disgusting. Just disgusting, y'all. Disgusting. I can't. Jada gets on my dog. Say hey, Jada, since you just got to be up here. Y'all, uh, I'm going to have to get one of those baby carriers. Because this, cause this worse than a newborn baby. The one that wants you to hold them, you done spoiled it accidentally. And now they want you to hold them every second of the day, every waking moment. This is Jada for me. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. You cold? You want your blankie? One blankie. Okay, so it's these right here that he's supposed to be getting. Not these. Uh, when I first initially heard him going into a guitar, I thought it was going to be like this. But it's kind of like these right here. I'm going to see. That one's cute. That's 269 Yeah, these are all like 269 Oh, that one's 800 baby, now. I kind of want to grab these right here. I'm too short to see what time would be. 